In just seconds today, both the Wisconsin State Senate and Assembly opened and closed the special session on gun control measures ordered by Governor Tony Evers. Amy Reid joins us live from the Capitol now, and she has the very latest. Amy? The assembly spent all day in their scheduled session and then within seconds opened and then closed the special session ordered by Governor Tony Evers. It was very similar to what Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald did earlier in the night. Fitzgerald was the only senator who came in for that session. The governor's goal was to pass legislation that would institute universal background checks on firearm purchases and a red flag law allowing a judge to temporarily seize guns from someone who poses a threat. But not only was there no discussion on these, Fitzgerald didn't even sit down. He says these violate the Second Amendment and don't address gun violence. There are many other things that play into that, including mental illness. And that's that's something certainly I think, you know, is is if we could come up with a solution uh, to, to the issues related to gun violence or these mass shootings. We could focus on locking up criminals. We could focus on locking up the people who already fail an existing background check and we don't prosecute them. I mean, there are a lot of things that we could focus on that would bring us together instead of just driving us apart. And that was House Speaker Robin Voss. He said he knew these measures wouldn't pass, and that's why he didn't need to discuss them in special session. That and the conversation came up multiple times through their scheduled session. There were a series of bills related to suicide prevention that the Assembly discussed tonight, and without fail, Democratic representatives mentioned how gun control was part of that. Democrats tonight are saying that they are disappointed on the lack of action on these two bills tonight, especially with 80% of Wisconsin voters in that most recent market. Marquette Law School poll saying that they support this policy. Amy Reed, live at the state capitol tonight. Amy, thank you. And just a few minutes ago, Governor Evers released a statement talking about that 80%. Re quote, Republicans essentially just told 80% of Wisconsinites and a majority of gun owners, quote, go jump in the lake because they didn't have the courage to take a vote.